Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to our channel. I am Seema Shane and today we are going to be looking at hydrocarbons and isomerism. Hydrocarbons are compounds that are composed of carbon and hydrogen only. Hydrocarbons make up fossil fuels. Fossil fuels contain a mixture of hydrocarbons which are sources of energy. Examples include petrol, diesel, kerosene oil obtained by the fractional distillation of petroleum. Coal gas is obtained by the destructive distillation of coal. Hydrocarbons are made of polymers like polythene, polystyrene, polypropene, natural rubber, etc. High on hydrocarbons are used as solvents for paints. They are also used as starting materials for manufacture of many dyes. Hydrocarbons can be classified as follows. Hydrocarbons are divided into open chain and closed chain compounds. Open chain compounds can further be classified as saturated and unsaturated. Closed chain compounds can further be classified as heterocyclic and homocyclic. Homocyclic compounds can be both aromatic or allocyclic. Saturated compounds. These contain carbon-carbon and carbon-hydrogen single bonds. If different carbon atoms are joined together to form an open chain of carbon atoms with single bonds, they are termed as alkanes with the general formula of CnH2n plus 2. If carbon atoms form a closed chain or a ring, they are termed as cycloalkanes with the general formula CnH2n. Here are some examples of open chain and closed chain saturated hydrocarbons. The carbon atoms in alkanes are sp3 hybridized and have tetrahedral shapes with the bonded atoms at angles of 109.5 degrees to each other. Free rotation is possible around the carbon-carbon single bonds and al alkanes, making the carbon chains very flexible, particularly for the larger molecules. Alkanes are non-polar molecules since they contain only car non-polar carbon-carbon and carbon-hydrogen bonds. They are therefore not soluble in water and since they are generally less dense than water, they will float in water. The only intermolecular forces acting between alkane molecules are very weak London forces, also known as dispersion forces, which result from the attractions between instantaneous dipoles formed as a result of no random fluctuations of electrons in nonpolar molecules. As the number of carbon atoms increases, the attraction due to these weak London forces also increases and the boiling point of the molecule increases. The lower molecular mass alkanes, 1 to 4 carbons, are gases at room temperature. Those having 5 to 20 carbons tend to be liquids with increasingly high boiling points. And those with more than 20 carbons are increasingly viscous liquids and finally waxy solids at room temperature. The low molecular mass alkanes from 1 to 4 carbons are frequently used as cooking fuels. Molecules of intermediate length, 6 to 12 carbons, are found in gasoline and diesel fuels. Longer carbon chains are found in motor oils, lubricants, emollients, greases, waxes, paraffin and other applications. Many of these compounds are isolated from petroleum and may serve as the starting points for the synthesis of more complex molecules. Unsaturated hydrocarbons contain carbon-carbon multiple bonds double bonds, triple bonds or both. Alkenes are unsaturated compounds with at least one carbon to carbon double bond. Alkenes are also known as olefins after the original name for ethene which is olefin gas. Alkenes take part in a wide variety of chemical reactions and are found as parts of many highly colored systems. Alkenes are therefore more reactive than alkenes due to the presence of the double bond. The general formula of, of alkenes is CnH2n. Double bonded carbons are sp2 hybridized and have trigonal planar shapes with the bonded atoms at angles of 120 degrees to each other. Free rotation is not possible around the carbon-carbon double bond in alkenes. 
making the carbon chains less flexible than those of alkanes with the same number of carbons. This lack of free rotation also gives rise to geometric isomerism in alkenes. Alkenes are non-polar since they contain nothing but carbon-carbon and carbon-hydrogen bonds, and they are not soluble in water. They are also generally less dense than water. Many alkenes are isolated from petroleum and may serve as the starting point for the synthesis of more complex molecules. Alkynes are unsaturated compounds with at least one carbon to carbon triple bond. Their general formula is CnH2n-2 for molecules with one triple bond and no rings. Another term used to describe alkynes is acetylenes. Alkynes are also more reactive than alkanes due to the presence of a triple bond. Alkynes undergo many of the same reactions as alkenes but can react twice because of the presence of two p bonds, pi bonds in the triple bond. Triple bonded carbons are sp hybridized and have linear shapes with the bonded atoms at angles of 180 degrees to each other. Because of this linear shape, geometric isomerism does not occur in alkynes. Alkynes are non-polar since they contain nothing but carbon and hydrogen. So like the alkenes and alkanes, they are not soluble in water and they are generally less dense than water. Homocyclic hydrocarbons have a ring structure and contain only carbon atoms in the ring. Aromatic hydrocarbons are chemical compounds that consist of conjugated planar ring system accompanied by delocalized pi electron clouds in place of individual alternating single and double bonds. Aromatic rings, also known as aromatic compounds or arenes, are hydrocarbons which contain benzene or some other related ring structure. Benzene C6H6 is often drawn as a ring of six carbon atoms with alternating double bonds. All of the bond lengths in the benzene rings are 1.397 angstroms, which is roughly intermediate the typical lengths of single bonds, which is approximately 1.5 angstroms, and double bonds, which is approximately 1.3 angstroms. All of the carbon atoms in the benzene rings are sp2 hybridized. The overlap of the sp2 orbitals around the ring produces a framework of six sigma bonds, while the unhybridized p orbitals, which are perpendicular to this plane, overlap in a side-to-side -side fashion to form three pi bonds. The pi bonds are delocalized around the ring, leading to an unusual stability for the benzene ring compared to other alkenes. Instead of three real single bonds and three real double bonds in the ring, benzene may be thought of as consisting of six one and a half bonds represented by the resonance structure as shown. All of the position in the benzene ring are thus equivalent. Benzene is sometimes represented as a hexagon with a circle inside it to emphasize this equivalence. Since all of the atoms in the ring are sp2 hybridized, they are trigonal planar with the bond angles of 120 degree. And the benzene ring is a flat molecule shaped like a hexagon. Aromatic hydrocarbons are non-polar and are insoluble in water. However, when other atoms are substituted in the benzene ring, they may be very water soluble. For instance, phenol which has an OH group attached to the benzene ring is very water soluble. Because of the stability imparted by the delocalized pi electrons in the ring, aromatic molecules do not undergo many of the reactions which are typical for alkenes, but there are a number of interesting and useful substitution reactions that they undergo, in which the hydrogen atom on the rings are replaced by other functional groups. Allocyclic compounds contain one or more all-carbon rings which may be saturated or unsaturated, but do not have aromatic character. These also may have one or more aliphatic side chains attached. A homologous series, homos meaning Greek for, this, for the same as, is a family of compounds in which each member differs from the one before it in the series by one methylene that is a CH2 group. The members of a homologous series are called as homologues. The members of a homologous series have similar physical and chemical properties. Given below is the homologous series for alkanes and alkenes. 
One of the interesting aspects of organic chemistry is that it is three-dimensional. A molecule can have a shape and space that may contribute to its properties. Molecules can differ in the way the atoms are arranged. The same combination of atoms can be assembled in more than one way. These compounds are known as isomers. Isomers are molecules with the same molecular formulas but different arrangements of atoms. Constitutional isomers Isomers that are differ in the order in which the connected atoms are arranged that is said to have different constitutions are referred to as constitutional isomers. To determine whether two molecules are constitutional isomers, we just count the number of each atom in both molecules and see how the atoms are arranged. If both molecules have the same count for all of the different atoms and the atoms are arranged in different ways, that is their connectivity is different, the molecules will be considered constitutional isomers. Connectivity means how the atoms are attached to one another. For example, an ether is in connectivity of COC and an alcohol has a connectivity of COH. For example, consider the following molecules. These are constitutional isomers because the connectivity of the atoms is different. The first type of constitutional or structural isomerism is chain isomerism. When two or more compounds have similar molecular formula but have different carbon skeletons, these are referred to as chain isomers and the phenomena is termed as chain isomerism. Example is the three isomers of pentane, which is n-pentane, 2-methylbutane or isopentane and 2,2-dimethylpropane or neopentane. The melting and boiling points of alkanes are relatively low. The higher the molecular weight, the greater the number of carbons and the higher the melting point. The interaction of electrons with each other due to what are called as van der Waals forces causes this increase in boiling point. If two alkanes of the same formula weight differing only in connectivity of atoms due to branching, the one that has more extensive branching has a lower boiling point because the branching prevents the molecules from being packed together as tightly as it occurs in a straight chain. This results in weaker intermolecular forces and therefore a lower boiling point. Branching often has the reverse effect on the melting point. Usually the melting point increases because of an increase in symmetry which aids in the formation of crystal lattices. For the same number of carbon atoms, increased branching leads to more compact molecule that can pack more closely in a solid lattice. The second type of structural isomerism or constitutional isomerism is position isomerism. When two or more compounds differ in the position of substituent atom or functional group on the carbon skeleton, they are called as position isomers and this phenomena is termed as position isomerism. For example, there are two structural isomers with the molecular formula C3H7Br. In one of them, the bromine atom is in the end of the chain, whereas in the other, it's attached to the middle. If we made a model, there is no way that we could twist one of the molecule to turn it into the other one. We would have to break the bromine off of the end and recharge it in the middle. At the same time, we would also have to move a hydrogen from the middle to the end. Another example is N-propanol or 1-propanol and isopropanol. The third type of structural isomerism is functional group isomerism. Two or more compounds having the same molecular formula but different functional groups are called functional isomers. And this phenomena is termed as functional group isomerism. Example is propanol and propanone. Structural isomerism, as in alkenes, ethene and propene can have only one structure but alkenes higher than propene have different structures. For example, the alkenes possessing the formula C4H8 can be written in three ways. The first is but1ene, second being but2ene, and third being 2-methylprop1ene. Structures 1 and 3 and 2 and 3 are examples of chain isomerism, whereas structures 1 and 2 are position isomers. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post.